I'm Dr. Ramani. I'm a neurologist at the Raffles Neuroscience Center, Raffles Hospital, Singapore. The current drugs in the market include blood thinners, cholesterol lowering medications, blood pressure lowering medications, but none of them in the market have been proven to help recovery after stroke. There have been many approaches say, looking for drugs that help recovery after stroke. Neuroprotectin trials have been done, hundreds of drugs have been tested, but none of them have really worked. So this is a new approach that helps restore the cells and restore how the cells function to help recovery after stroke has occurred. Muriate comprises nine herbal elements, which are mixed together in certain proportions and come together in easy to swallow capsules. Animal experiments have been done showing that in rats and other animal models, new cells are growing, new growths are occurring, connecting the cells, certain chemical changes occur that result in a positive environment for cells to regenerate, new connections to form, and recovery to then occur. We performed a clinical trial, a randomized controlled trial in multiple centers in Asia. We compared patients with ischemic stroke, of which half received NeuroAid and the other half did not. They received a three-month course of drug or placebo. We then followed them up for the succeeding 18 months, so it's a two-year study. We found that in those who received NeuroAid had a better recovery than those who did not. And the impact was seen at six months and persisted to, till the end of two years. So we were surprised that the benefit was not seen early, but seen at a later point in time. Secondly, that the benefit was persisting for such a long time, although the drug was stopped early on. We were very careful to monitor for side effects, mild or severe, in all the patients in the study. There was no significant difference in side effects uh, among the two groups. What was interesting was that there was an almost 30% reduction in severe adverse events among those who received NeuroAid. And that was largely because there was fewer hospitalizations for further events and other illnesses in the NeuroAid treated group. Overall, there would be much less hospital stay and less cost for stroke care. So the impact of NeuroAid is not just on the patient, but global stroke care. Patients who receive it are very happy when they have improvement in their clinical function and able to improve on their self-care. So the impact on patients has been very good and I'm also happy to see them getting better too because otherwise I have nothing much more to offer them than asking them to go for more rehabilitation. So an impact in a positive way for patients, families and for us physicians looking after the patients. All patients with stroke or head injury would probably require rehabilitation. So in addition to having rehab therapy, we offer therapies to help them recover and restore function. So new rate is then given to such patients to help them along the way with rehab to improve, to improve their function. What's important is what happens to the patient. So those who are disabled become less disabled. Those in a wheelchair can now walk. Those who are walking can walk better. It's that sort of thing that's important to patients. Patients want independence. They want to look after themselves and return to a normal quality of life. And this option gives them that opportunity. With the evidence showing that NeuroAid has neurostorative powers, other illnesses that injure the brain or the spinal cord can also be, we can also benefit ischemic stroke, stroke from bleeding, stroke from head injury, and other illnesses can benefit as well, as can dementia. So one is the illnesses that affect the brain. Similarly, one can decide to do a similar uh, trials of NeuroAid in other illnesses. Music